Nebraska lawmakers are working on a way to help Nebraskans find affordable housing. Today, two senators talked about their plans to keep Nebraskans in the state and attract newcomers as well. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson was at the briefing today and tells us more in our top story tonight. Live from the newsroom, Mackenzie. Senators Tony Vargas and Tom Breezy say they're going to be introducing bills to the Nebraska legislature to help deal with the housing crisis. But that's just the beginning of the plans the Nebraska Strategic Housing Council has for the future. Nebraska's 2022 Strategic Housing Framework addresses the problems many Nebraskans are facing while searching for a place to live. It highlights two main problems. Not enough housing is available, and the few that are available are too expensive. Research shows the population of the 42 smallest counties in Nebraska have been dramatically dropping. Those 42 counties have lost 47,777 people since, two, since 1980. It creates a situation where you don't have new homes coming online at the rate you probably need. And so something like 76% of the homes that exist in our most rural county classifications were built before 1980. The framework has two priorities for the next few years. The first is to decrease the number of Nebraskans who are dealing with housing burden, which means they spend 30 percent or more of their income on housing. To do that, the Housing Council plans to build and rehabilitate 35,000 housing units across the state. Senator Tony Vargas says these goals are going to strengthen Nebraska as a whole. What do we need as a state when we're talking about housing? What do we need when we're talking about affordable housing, middle income housing, workforce housing? What are our desired needs when we're talking about the type of economic development that we actually need for our state to grow and for all of our communities, both urban and rural, to grow? These housing needs, we have a shared common ground for what we're trying to accomplish. The council wants to carry out their plans by 2028, but first they'll have to secure funding and support before moving into the logistics of actually building the housing structures. They say this is something that has to be dealt with immediately. We're at a crossroads. We're at a point that, that we have to make some decisions. If you want to build the community, you've got, to, you've got to think about what your community is for what you want it to be. Who do you want to live in your community? What, what businesses do you want in there? How do you want this to be? And you've got to build a community that connects with those people. And the Strategic Housing Council acknowledged that this isn't going to be an easy process, but they're hoping the framework sets a good foundation for the years ahead. All right, Mackenzie Johnson from the newsroom tonight. Thank you very much for our top story.